like you've said about radiation and chemotherapy, immunotherapy also can be enhanced by metabolic therapy. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, all of these therapies can be enhanced by, by metabolic therapy. Radiation therapy, uh, you would reduce a lot of the inflammation. You would reduce the, the hypoxia around the tumor, making, making radiotherapy much more effective. Chemotherapies are often blocked by the acidification of the microenvironment. The fermentation that drives the dysregulated growth of the tumor cell um, also drives the P-glycoprotein. So drugs come into the tumor cell and are pumped out immediately. So the tumor is kind of like resistant. Why are they resistant? Because the fermentation metabolism is protecting the tumor by these, by these pumps that pump out the chemotherapy. So if we take the energy away from the pumps, make those tumor cells now uh, vulnerable to very low doses of chemotherapy. So again, immunotherapies become more, more, more therapeutic, more, more precise. Chemotherapies become far less toxic, and as radiation therapy becomes far less toxic and more effective. So removing, targeting first the fermentation fuels, transitioning the body over to nutritional ketosis also protects our normal cells to any of the hazardous activities of the immunotherapies or chemo or radiation therapy. So this is the plan to manage cancer effectively. We can keep many of the tools that we have. We just have to know how to use them in the, in the appropriate way.